Hi guys, it's Shannon the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center and I'm just giving you a quick garden update. Um, most are doing well, there's a few things not, but uh, I'll split the camera around here and start here. So here is my baby butternut. Look at them, there's you can see two, three, I think I have more in there too, but I'm also going to clean up all those bad leaves just to keep it neater looking, but I'm excited and I have lots of blooms in there and the plant overall is doing really well too. But excited about baby butternut squashes. Now, here's my zucchini. <laughs> From the last video, it was doing much better. But what happened, and I did have it in the last video, I just didn't point it out, was each stem kind of cra started cracking and then the moisture just hit, so it slowly was killing it. See here, it just, which I'm okay with. I got a lot off of it. Um, but it's. It's, it's done, so I have to pull that out, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to plant um, lettuce or radishes or something like that, something that's a quick, quick grow, that will grow in the next 30 to 60 days. Here is my snap peas. They are doing well. Some powdery mildew has hit it, though, which is just weather-related, has nothing to do with anything I'm doing, because I don't wet the leaves when I water or anything like that. It's just the hot, humid weather we've been having, but you can see I have lots of peas on there to harvest there's some more in under there so every time I come out here and take a peek I always pick a few off and eat them anyways but they're kind of just my snacking plant while I'm out here this is my cucumber and my mini cucumber and it has some bad leaves which I just cut off as I get as I can and I find they kind of do that once they start producing the leaves will slowly start withering away whether that's normal or not it doesn't bother me um, I just clean them up and I know that plant is putting a lot of energy into producing fruit so but I do keep fertilizing it just to help it out but there's my mini cucumbers and they are an odd shape and what I can find out about them so far I have one way back in there I have to pull it's a big one um, what I found out so far it's um, potassium but uh, cucumbers need more potassium to so they're not that bulbous shape. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. But that's what I figured out. It does not affect the taste at all, these odd looking cucumbers. Um, I've eaten quite a few of them and I've actually pickled quite a few jars and they're delicious either way. So mini cucumbers, I would do again. This one is my lemon cucumber and I have an obs like a ton of blooms on this thing. I can't remember, I can't believe how many blooms are on this thing. But I've had one, I e ate it, and it was delicious. Just like a cucumber. See, that's the color. That's the size. This one's ready to pick. And these are like, these are like little hairs. They're bumpy, but you can take them off. They're edible. Doesn't bother, doesn't affect eating it or anything like that. But it's a lemon cucumber. Tastes just like a cucumber, but um, it really, really crispy. Really good. So I'm going to, there are more on there. There's one back in there, and I have another one in there. So it, I'll eat them as they come off. If I get too many, I'll pickle them probably. Jalapenos, which I pickled a jar of those as well, because I had a bunch ready all at once. Couldn't eat them all. Now this is my watermelon. It's doing quite well. Um, I did have a nice-sized one growing right on that stem. But I noticed this morning a critter took it off and started eating it. So I really hope that as they mature that doesn't keep happening. Because I'd really at least like to get one out of all of this. But we'll see. But I've had lots of blooms on it. And it's doing quite well. Really nice and green still. That one is... I can't remember which this one is. That one's my Scotch Bonnet Pepper. I have a couple Scotch Bonnet and a couple of Habanero. And then I have a couple of... I believe they're shepherd, sweet shepherd. And you can see he's a big guy back in there. There's quite a few of them on this one. This one I have to restake because it's kind of fallen over. And then my tomatoes. My tomatoes are doing really well. They are so big. They're so tall. I need a ladder to harvest the top ones. But you can see there's some nice red ones in there, the cherry tomatoes. That one's cherry tomatoes too. And they've been delicious. I've just kind of snacked on them as I've been out here as well until I get quite a few that I can do something with but the big ones are also starting to ripen which is nice and up in here there's one 
tucked in there. Probably almost ready to go. And that's another cherry tomato one there. So, as for my other video, I showed you guys I took all the lower leaves off just for air circulation. I will go through and take off some of these upper leaves too because that's a lot of leaves. And to get the tomatoes to um, ripen better, faster, easier for them, I will take off some more leaves up there. Not all of them. I might take about a third of them off for now. But I'll work on that this week. Every day I'll take a few off as I... As I'm out here and then over here in the corner is my cucamelon and believe it or not if you've watched my previous videos I actually got a trellis for it this trellis I don't know if you can tell let me see if I can get in here is actually a curved trellis so it's for a pot or you can put it the other way against a wall and have the plant grow up behind it between that and the wall but I thought it'd be cute to kind of put that in the corner in my pot rounded trellis and the cucamelons, let's see if I can find one. I did see some earlier. You see lots of little blooms inside in there. But I did see some earlier. Let's see if I can find some. There's a little one starting. And I hope the other ones didn't get eaten already by some other critters. There's one right there. Where am I? There's one. So... I'll let it go maybe a couple more days. Sorry, I'm trying to get the leaves out of the way here for you guys. There we go. I'm going to let it go for another day or two, probably a couple days, just so it gets a little bit bigger. But again, they're crunchy. Almost it tastes like a cucumber with a slight lemon tint taste to it. There's one up there. There's one there. They're really good, too. So I'm glad they're going. <clears throat> glad I got a trellis for it finally to get up off the ground, give it a chance this year. That's also my cucumber. My horseradish. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know if my if I told you showed you last time that my horseradish is doing quite well. It's getting really, really big. And as I was <coughs> sorry, I have a tickle all of a sudden. Um, I was looking at my um strawberries. Before I show you my strawberries that I started, here is my fig. <coughs> sorry. Look at that. It has, I've eaten about six of them off of it, but I have that one to go. I just want to show you guys before I pick. I'm, they are so good. I love my figs. And then here are my strawberries. Look at them. And they're just little tiny mini guys, so I'll pick them now that I've shown you guys too. And this one is my yellow one. I'll get yellow strawberries on that. Very happy about those. Here's my basil. I very strongly um, pruned them very hard back the other day because they had a lot of, <coughs> sorry, a lot of blooms coming on them. So I did a really hard prune, took them back. When I did my pickles I was talking about before with my cucumbers and things, I used some of my spicy basil in it. It was quite good. My lemon basil, large leaf, Genovese, that's holy, and that's Thai. So I have been using them slowly. But they're doing well. This one here, I don't think I've shown you guys. I started, I planted parsley by seed. And that's taken maybe about a month to get to that stage, which I think is pretty good. So that shouldn't be long. My giant uh, lemongrass that I just really let my dogs um, eat when they're not feeling well. My lemon thyme, which I also put in my pickles. And my dill, which not much left because I also harvest it. To put in my pickles my chives are completely gone i have to get some more potting soil i'll top that up i'll take out some of the soil put fresh top um potting soil in and plant some more seeds for some chives since my last ones just died off all of a sudden and that's my huge thing of mint it's massive that's lemon balm there and then i have mojito mint and that one is uh spearmint so they're doing quite well they're big i keep putting them back up in there i, I trim it back a lot too I like it in my water and I like to make tea out of it. So I use it a lot, but it's doing quite well. So hopefully that's her. But um, that is a quick tour of my garden, how it's going. I'm happy about a lot of it. It's okay that a few things are going because I can put different things in there. Like I said, lettuce, radish, beets, maybe something that grows really quickly. And in my old pots that I had the onions in as well from before, I will put something in those well as well. So I have um, something for the a fall harvest. If you guys have any questions or tips on anything you've seen, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.